Right. So if we're talking about other guys, that would sort of logically lead Darren to Kenyon Drake, who was on Good Morning Football earlier this week and at least told the folks in NFL Network, quote, there hasn't really been too much dialogue right now. He said, I know the league and teams are trying to figure out the cap room, that type of situation. Like I said, once we cross that bridge, we'll get there. End quote. Do you think they're not talking to Kenyon Drake because they're already resigned to parting ways? Or are they truly waiting for a little more info as to where exactly the cap's going to land? I think I think for a lot of teams right now, I think there's going to be a lot of waiting around. I mean, again, and I believe you mentioned it. I mean, we don't even know what the official last cap number is yet. It's kind of tough to really start planning, especially in a year where the cap is going down so much to not have that exact number. Now, you can start playing with some things. And, like, do I think the Cardinals have an idea of – what they want to do with Kenyon Drake or what they want to do with Hassan Reddick or what they want to do with Patrick Peterson. Of course I do. Um, does that mean that they have had those, that dialogue yet? No. Does that mean that they think they're going to necessarily be able to keep or lose any of them individually? I, I don't know if they know that yet. Um, there's just, again, so many unknowns. You don't know who's going to be on the market. I mean, if, you know, if you're, if you're Kenyon Drake, for instance, here, and, and let's say the cards do want you back, but it's only on a X amount of dollars. If you're Kenyon Drake, is this a good place for you to stay for one more year and try and build up something and hit the, the, the market again? Do you want to move when you just feel like you're you only got you're gonna do a one-year deal and, and be done with it anyways? I mean, that's something that the players are gonna have to start figuring out too. Is it's not just the money, it's is it up and uprooting yourself for one year? essentially I think it'll come down to not only the money for each player, but also what the best fit is because I just feel like so many of these guys are going to be expecting to try and hit the free agent market again in 2022 when they're hoping the financial situation is better because it's, it's not going to be good for so many of these guys. And I think that's going to impact the Cardinals, not only about how much money they can spend, but also on the other way, which is what these players are trying to figure out. And look, we're going to be having these conversations for at least the next couple of months here on Cardinals Underground, brought to you by Pacific Office Automation, proud partner of the Arizona Cardinals. Team owner Michael Bidwell was on 98.7 FM Arizona Sports, and he was asked about specific players. And he basically came back to the same refrain, Kyle. And that was to say that, look, a lot of these veteran players need to work with us, quote unquote, is what Michael Bidwell said. And he mentioned how the salary cap's going down. In any case, it is going down there's going to be less to work with. And so, you know, he also added how veterans are going to be cut around the league. So if Kenyon Drake, if there isn't a deal to be had in place with the Cardinals, I think the cards might feel like, you know what, we're fairly confident. There's going to be some pretty talented running backs out on that open market that we can potentially sign. Yeah. It seems to me like every team might identify two or three guys that they really want to go after and give a pretty good deal to. And after that, like you said, if, if you think certain position, there's a lot of comparable talent, you just wait it out and see who signs and see who doesn't. And if there's a group of five guys that you feel comfortable with, chances are two or three of them are going to be on the market a week or two after the big rush of free agency and you can get them at big time discounts. So I agree with you. Like the, the players right now are in a tough spot where they understand the production they did during the season and what that means in a usual season. But now knowing that the cap is so low, do you take a risk and not resign and go to a market with, a, with an upside of maybe getting that deal and with the downside of having to sign a one year for much less than you think you're worth. So I think it's a tough call for a lot of players. And from the team side, so many teams are up against the cap that they're not going to be raising their offers and negotiating a lot. I feel like this is going to be their number for certain guys. And if they don't want it, then they're just going to let them go because there are going to be deals in free agency. And I, I will say this too, in a normal situation, when you start talking about players taking less than, you know, what they're worth and, and having to make those decisions, you know, in a, in a normal time, if you're a team, you're like, yes, this is a great situation for us. But the reason they're taking less here is because the teams won't have the ability to sign those guys. So I still think it's the players that come out in a worse position uh, on an individual basis, but
but a lot of teams aren't going to be aren't, aren't thrilled about this either. I mean, most teams would would kill for be able to pay these guys more money to be able to build their teams. There are some teams because of rollover money over the years that have will have quite a bit of of cap room. Whether you, you know the Colts and the Jaguars are two that that instantly come to mind right now. But there's so many teams that don't. I mean, we've talked about this before. The Saints and the Steelers and the and the Rams, last I checked, were among the teams that are hopelessly underwater in terms of how the cap is going to go. And I don't know how they are supposed to put together a team this year that's supposed to be competitive. So, I, I, again, I think this offseason is going to be fascinating for somebody like me who, guess what? I don't have the pressure of <laughs> trying to get signed or be signing anybody. I just get to sit back and watch how it plays out. Well, guess what? Chase Edmonds might be right. There's going to be a lot of talented players signing one-year deals. And there might be the ability of some teams to make a run at a super team with a bunch of one-year signees. I mean,